Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, hi my name is Imani Marie and this is my channel. Welcome. Um, as you guys could see by the title above, I'm just showing you guys my everyday natural clean girl makeup with someone with hyperpigmentation in their skin. I This is the finalized look. So I'm going to just, yeah, show you guys how I achieve this look and probably gonna do a voiceover because I don't think I opened my mouth once while doing this. <laughs> I was just quiet the entire time. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching and yeah, let's get to it. How should I do this? Starting with a clean base, a nice fresh clean face. I'm going to add my primer. I like to use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It is literally the best primer in, like, on the planet. So I put that all over my face. Please ignore my eyebrows. I haven't done them in some time. Then with the Ruby Kiss contour palette I'm just color correcting as I mentioned I do have some hyperpigmentation I just use the orange color to kind of neutralize the darker spots on me that could be incorrect you know if you're a master makeup artist you correct me I don't care I'm good with criticism um but that's what I do and this is how I do it and that's Mong if you are a BTS fan if you're ARMY you know who that is and next I like to highlight my under eyes with the Maybelline eraser, I believe it's called. Um, I don't recall the color I use, it's just a lighter, lighter than my foundation, just to brighten up my under eyes. It goes on very easy and blends well, I love it. Where did my top lip go, though? It just disappeared. I'm going on in with my Fenty Pro filter. I just showed you guys the color in which I wear. I know I'm not putting this in correctly. I use a beauty blender. This beauty blender, unfortunately, was kind of wet. I would recommend like a dry one versus a damp one or like a brush. It made my application a little spotty, but I obviously don't care because I just kept going. <laughs> I fixed it later during the day because it was just bothering me. And for the eyebrows, I'm using my e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I don't necessarily use this all the time, but I was just trying to get more straight lines. Um, I usually use a ColourPop like wax to just brush my eyebrows straight, but I was feeling a little, you know, special today, so I wanted to darken the spots in which I am bald, because I have bald spots in my eyebrows. And I like to put, like, got to be gel. Does anybody else do that? Got to be gel in their eyebrows? It's better than, like, soap eyebrows, or the wax eyebrows. I don't know, it just sticks, stays like all day, all day brows. Use hair gel, duh. And then with a lighter concealer, I like to line the bottom of my eyebrows. And probably like the top end, like where the tail of the eyebrow is. I don't like going or doing adding more than that because it looks kind of excessive. And then I like to put a layer of 
yeah, that's the chocolate bar by Too Faced Foundation. It's old, I don't care. So that was actually discontinued, like in 2018. So it tells you how old that is. I just really liked it. And one of the colors just really mattifies my eyes because I get really oily eyelids. So I just use that. It's kind of the same color as my skin as is. So it looks as if I'm not wearing any eyeshadow at all, which is what I was going for. Now it's time for eyeliner. I tried to do eyeliner the correct way, like when you just draw it on, but that's not the way I typically do it. I am guilty of putting my eyeliner on like Ariana Grande, like holding your eye, pulling it back, and then doing it. You'll see it in a second. I'm embarrassed, but that's the way I do it because it's easier. This was difficult. See, I'm honestly struggling. See, the way I do eyeliner is giving Kendall Jenner cutting cucumbers. But it works. Line your lips. I like to use this NYX lip liner. I believe the color is Cherry Pie. No, it's Club Hopper. That's definitely Club Hopper. And then for blush, I'm using the Rare Beauty. Um, I forgot the name of the color right now, but the purple color that TikTok told me to buy, and I absolutely love it. And everything will be linked in the description box below because I'm not good at this. blush I like a whole bunch of it I like to I want to look embarrassed pretty much and I don't think I accomplished that today I usually do when I wear like red but with the purple it's kind of light so I forgot to uh, set my face powder but this is what I use typically but I didn't do it today so And then for lip gloss, I'm using the NYX Butter Gloss in the color Cranberry Pie, I believe. It's Cranberry Pie. Then mascara, and I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, just kidding. Um, I like to add freckles. I use the ColourPop freckle pen. It's like the darkest color. It turns out really nice, but I don't think they're being picked up by the camera. And now we're done. This is the final look. And that is the completed look. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I'm not really educational, but I hope I my attempt was very um helpful. 
Well, the reason I made this video is because one person on Instagram asked me how I did my everyday makeup. So I was like, let me make you a tutorial. If you're not subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe, share, like, comment, follow me on my social medias. I will follow you back because I am an angel and I keep my promises. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye. Thank you.